listeners, welcome back to Bingkai Suara with me, Siska. And today's episode, we've got yet another really special guest from Thailand with us. Okay, please welcome Vini. Sawadika. Sawadika, hi. Hi, how are you doing, guys? Um, great. How are you? It's good. Okay, by the way, are you in Thailand right now? Yeah, I am. Okay, how is the weather? Uh, the weather pretty hot. Oh, it's really hot. It's same in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, FYI, listeners, Vini is an electric band from Thailand, full of talent, consisting of Bim, Ply, and Fong, are back with their latest single, Teenage Lullaby. They are known for their unique mix, a bit dance music and emotion. All right, first of all, I want to say congratulations, guys, on from your newest single, Teenage Lullaby. I just listened to your song and literally, this is so exciting because the song is so great and I can say this is an, one of the best single ever come out in 2023. <laughs> oh, thank okay, you. congratulations for that, guys. Okay, so we are going to talk about in a bit and but let's talk about you first, yeah, guys. First question, uh, your name is Vini. I wonder why yeah. you choose uh, that name to be your stage name. I mean, is there any fun story or reason behind how you came up with it? Well, the name Vini came up from one of our member who is by the bassist. She was playing her game. And then, well, that moment we were searching, like, what would be the perfect name for our band? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. she's found like the word Vini in her like map on her computer and then it's like the writing like V I and I seems so pretty like the fonts and also like the how we pronounce it it's mm -hmm. cool so we search the meaning like what is Vini means and it means friends or like friendship so after that we just Chose this name. Oh, it's that's pretty cool. random, yeah. <laughs> All right, then it's cool. Okay, uh, now let's talk about your new single, Teenage Lullaby. Can you tell us how about the concept and where did you get the inspiration for this song? Um, well, the inspiration of this song, well, the first inspiration is that we want to present like a new image or new for us mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. who is Vini and we want to be like more cool mm -hmm. more like the music wise and then for the relics part it I would say it's a I I it's um it's my personal experience that I experienced and I found that this should be shared to other as well yeah so it's about like when you are suffering but you also met the other person who is also suffering. Mm -hmm. And then after we met or we share our issues, we found the light. Like we found a way to solve this problem. Well, I want to re like share these stories because like most people would, wouldn't recommend you to like talk to people who are also suffering. It would like, be more darker right or like mm -hmm. more negativity but sometimes by sharing just sharing with them it's it's a good way because we they also have a chance to share their problem as well mm -hmm. so yeah. how would you describe teenage lullaby in only three words mm, teenagers uh, teenagers <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, by the way your music video is also amazing guys uh, you you look so gorgeous, so sexy with your sharp eyes. You. And I absolutely love it. Again, can you share the story behind making the music video? Well, the stories behind the music video is also goes along with the song's relics. Like mm -hmm. after we like understand the story, we we have like our staff that, that help us in making the music video. Mm -hmm. And they suggest like, okay, I think this would be a good storyline, like, where you guys, like, Vini, like, mm -hmm. three of us, like, present as one person. 
So that one person is Vini, and Vini is can be considered as a space or a person who is there for that or those many people who is suffering. All right yeah. then. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, when we talk about musician, uh, we will talk about live performance also. Mm-hmm. Live performance are where the magic of music truly comes alive. And what's your favorite part about performing live? I mean, uh, can you share an unforgettable live performance moment, maybe in Japan or in Taiwan? Um, well, both of them is so like memorable for me because like mm-hmm. for Japan, we went to perform there as our album party, like first album party there. And it was my first time performing in other countries. Mm-hmm. And the moment that I saw like the audience, like enjoy our music, I shed my tears. Yeah. Wow. It's really, it's really good. I would say it's so happy, and I appreciate so much when people appreciate our arts or our music. Yeah, okay. and for Taiwan, um, I really enjoy it because it's mm-hmm. our first time performing in a big stage uh-huh. at the Taoyuan uh, Rose Music uh, Ivan Rose Music Festival. The stage is so big and like, um, we didn't expect that much of the crowd. Yeah. And we, we know that those people don't know us, but they stay even though it rains so hard. Yeah. Okay. So every As- performance is so memorable. Wow. Okay. Um, When when the listeners uh listen about your song, what kind of message do you, do you hope they get from your uh listeners? I mean, especially for teenage lullaby. For teenage lullaby, I hope them found the relics cheerful and like supporting them because I have seen and I also experienced many situations when people found themselves being alone like lost mm-hmm. without any one there for them even though there are people there for them but they don't recognize that so yeah we we want our music to be one of the way to cope with like things okay wow that's great <laughs> okay <laughs> next questions yeah uh, is there any dream collaboration or artists you'd love to work with in the future i mean it can be from thai artists or any other one that you really want to work with mm, i personally like tomish wow yeah so it would be great if i have a chance to work with him mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah hopefully you can do it someday yeah hopefully <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you had a blast uh, making all of your songs, but you can uh, spill the beans on, on which song was the most uh, fun to create since your first debut. Mm, since our first debut, I would say Teenage Lullaby is the most fun piece for us mm-hmm. and for myself as well because we had a lot to do in these songs when compared with other tracks that we have many producer helping us. But mm-hmm. for this one, we have like lots of roles in both like uh-huh. instruments and the relix part. And okay. yeah, it was so fun, like brainstorming and like meeting mm-hmm. each other. Mm. All right, then. Anyways, one last question. Um, can you tell us why we should listen to your song? Why? I think I our song is fun, energetic, mm. and cheerful relix. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And lastly, lastly, yeah, could you guys please our listeners and invite them to listen to this episode on Spotify and Apple Podcasts? All right. Then. So don't forget to listen to this episode on Spotify and Apple. Um, well, you guys won't want to miss this because it's so fun and we want to know everyone and Thank you so much for having us today. 
I think our time is up and mm -hmm. let me say this it's been nothing but a pleasure talking to you and I'd love to talk to you in another time maybe yeah Okay, listener, listeners of Bingkai Suara, don't forget to listen to Teenage Lullaby on any music streaming platform because I can say it's a very great song. And thank you so much, Vini, for making your time you. to talk with us and for our listeners who always wait for our upcoming exciting episode. And the podcast will be always available on any podcast streaming platform. See you in the next episode and goodbye.